Hey, what's happening, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives. Welcome to another of my budget-friendly knife reviews. This is the Blademate Folding Knife. Uh, on Amazon, they were calling it the Box Cutter Knife. All right, I can see that. As you can see, I've already tested this out and beat this up. It is a liner lock. The blade length is three inches. Now, I've got some good news and bad news. Which do you want first? The good news? Yeah, the good news is that this is... $13. All right, so not very expensive at all. There you see the liner lock. Thumb studs are your openers. Uh, the bad news is that the edge was just, it was not so good. All right, but, oh, and they don't say what steel it is. It's uh, some mystery steel, but at $13, I think you can guess the likely suspects. Yeah. All right, but before we get into the edge, let's let's do the other functions first. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. As you can see, it has this uh, cutting notch right here with a little, basically kind of like a razor blade nestled in there. And as you can see, it demonstrated on the paracord, it works well. You know, that thing was sharp. Uh, one firm tug. Uh, that sounded dirty. Yeah, no, keep tugging. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, yeah, that thing works. I mean, the, um, the little cutter notch works. Now, how, uh, how useful you find that stuck on the end of your knife, that's up to you, but it works. All right, here's the, well, you can think of this as a glass breaker or as a face smasher, depending on how self-defense oriented you may be. Uh, but there it is on the pallet. But that was just the warm-up. Here is the cinder block of, uh, of uh, basher testing. And as you see from the hole, it, I do test on this cinder block. Uh, yeah, mainly I was testing just to make sure that the, the little glass breaker nipple, yeah, I'm going to call it a nipple, that nipple didn't like flatten or deform. I mean, it seems to have survived being bashed into a cinder block. What can I say? I think it would bash face pretty well or glass. The handle scales on this knife are aluminum, by the way. I mentioned that because the corners got chewed up by that cinder block, but I just took my Leatherman Super Tool 300 and I smoothed those out because uh, they were a bit jagged. All right, and as for the, uh, the worn appearances, well, I don't care about pretty appearances. Okay, testing on some, or breaking down some cardboard. Now this knife is a good idea because it's basically a utility knife, but instead of buying replacement blades, you just have to resharpen it. However, they did stumble a little bit in the execution. I can tell you this knife struggled a lot on the cardboard, particularly on some of the double thick pieces like there. I don't know if you can really tell, but trust me, this did not do well on the cardboard compared to many other knives that I have tried. I think the edge geometry on this is not so good. The bevel is uh, too thick in my opinion. I did try touching this up for two minutes, which is more than enough to get many knives quite sharp if you check out my Rough Rider reviews. Two minute touch up on a Rough Rider knife which was cheaper than this knife, and the Rough Rider knife was super sharp. But see, that's because I didn't have to reprofile the Rough Rider knives. I think to make this thing work well, you would have to put in a lot of time or more than more than a few minutes to reprofile the uh, the geometry. All right, so that's my honest my honest assessment. So is that a deal breaker? Well, for a lot of people it is, because a lot of people are not good at like sharpening and might not even know what reprofiling is. But um, if you are good at reprofiling and resharpening, then don't hesitate to buy this knife because the price is certainly right and it's a good blade shape. The steel is not so good, but that's to be expected at this price range. You know, the best steel for this would have been 440A. And I looked everywhere trying to find what steel this actually is. Uh, I don't think it's 440A, but if it is, it, it's not done correctly. 440A, the way that K-Bar does some of their uh, civilian hunting series, that would have been the ideal steel. 
Also, I'm not really clear if I just happen to get unlucky and get a particularly bad edge on mine because I checked out the text reviews on Amazon. This has over 250 reviews, overwhelmingly positive, and they're not fake because I can detect fake reviews. Uh, so uh, either I got unlucky or the majority of those people just maybe they have a different idea of what Sharp is. But on the positive side again, this comes with free stuff. It, it came with this. It's like a pry bar with some other features. You see, uh, it's got a little kind of like a, that's for notching wood, I think. Also, can opener, bottle opener, a little uh, pry section. It's designed to fit in your wallet. All right, well, I mean, keep in mind, the, the knife was only $13, so uh, this pry bar thing's got to be worth a few bucks. All right, that's that's cool, I mean... I, I don't know how long that, that bonus gift offer lasts, but mine arrived with that. But yeah, my final assessment, uh, beginners don't buy this knife. Uh, if you're good at resharpening and reprofiling, then go ahead and buy the knife. Uh, but for everybody else, I will include links to some other options, uh, such as those Rough Rider knives I've mentioned, so some other budget options that are more beginner-friendly and will require less uh, customization, shall we say. But yeah, a mixed review, you know, it's a good idea. It could have been executed a little better, but um, it's still salvageable. I mean, for that price, yeah, just not for beginners. All right, check out the links. This has been We All Juggle Knives. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.